Good evening. I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram, consultant neonatologist and pediatrician. I am the head of the department at Zuleika Hospital, Dubai. A quick word about uh, nappy care in children. People have uh, confusion in terms of what products to use, whether sh they should use cloth nappies, whether you should use uh, diapers. So, I mean, uh, this choice is individual, but you should basically keep the nappy area dry. It shouldn't be soaking. And uh, because that area is exposed to fluids more often and the urine especially has a chemical nature to it, the skin may be irritated and you may have breakdowns in the skin barrier if you don't maintain properly. In a female baby, we should be careful how we clean. Uh, it should always be from front to back and use the uh, dispose of the uh, wipes you use in a proper way. Uh, never bring any stool material into the urinary area because it can easily enter the urinary tract and cause infections. Uh, preventive use of the barrier creams that are usually the nappy rash creams is important. Uh, preventive use is advocated in the early infancy especially because the urine as well as the stool frequency is quite high. Uh, as the baby gets older, uh, they may not be that prone. So if you see any irritation in the skin, you can use. And if you are using preventive use, a thin coating is adequate. However, if you see uh, significant eczema or uh, irritation, nappy rash developing, you need a good coating. Most of the nappy creams have uh, emollients as well as uh, barriers like zinc oxide and some of them have uh, a mild uh, anti-irritant built in as well. So we have to choose the products carefully. We should make sure that uh, we are not using any nappy treatment uh, cream for uh, prevention of the nappy rash. So the treatment creams may have steroids in them, they may have antibiotic products and if you repeatedly use them obviously there will be side effects like skin thinning. So uh, be aware of what you are using. Some people use just Vaseline. Vaseline acts as a little bit of a barrier, more of a moisturizer if you use it on the wet skin. However, you, you do need some uh, barrier like zinc oxide to work effectively. In uh, routine care, it may be adequate to use, but uh, you, know, you do need a barrier cream if the skin starts breaking and so on. Thank you. We will uh, discuss some of the issues related to skin care in the summer. So uh, summer obviously means hot weather and uh, we are all raring to go out to the beach or to the pool and even in these days of lockdown with the adequate social distancing we do intend to go out to the parks and beach uh, as possible. So it's very important to avoid sunburns and uh, in a infant it's very important not to expose them to extreme heat so between in the UAE for example between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. I would avoid taking the baby out stay in the shade if you do need to go out have some form of uh, sun protector uh, like a hat and have the adequate clothing which would cover the baby stay under the shade as best as you can there is a risk of dehydration there is a definite risk of sunburn as the infant skin is very fragile if you do have to go out in the sun, you have to wear a uh, sunscreen. The recommended age is beyond six months, but for babies uh, from any age, if you do have to expose to the sun, use a smaller layer uh, of coating below six months of age of uh, a 30 to 50 SPF uh, sunscreen. After six months, you can start putting a good coating. Avoid going out in the first six months, so you don't need to repeatedly use the sunscreen during the day. But if you do go, as I said, you can apply a thinner layer. Uh, the sun protecting factor is the duration of time it lasts for, and obviously 30 to 50 or 25 to 50 SPF is uh, appropriate in most instances. If the child's skin get wet, gets wet, you need to reapply quickly, otherwise it can last you up to one and a half to two hours. If the child is playing in the sun and is sweating, again the sunscreen gets washed off, so you need to uh, reapply. The sunscreen which is uh, containing zinc oxide or titanium dioxide are good products because they don't penetrate the skin, they stay on the surface. Uh, other measures, obviously once you come back indoors, you can remove the sunscreen and uh, use a moisturizer. And uh, Remember that the sunscreen doesn't act immediately. You need to apply it uh, 15 to 20 minutes before you actually go in the sun. 
and remember if the child is in school older age kids you can give them the sunscreen and uh, encourage them to use it uh, before their PE sessions and so on so uh, protecting from the Sun is a very important aspect in young children and infants and please take care now we are in the summer and this is a very important uh, aspect to know